Welcome to my 20 minute dumbbell beach body workout. Today, you will be training your arms, abs, and calves. You will need a pair of squat wedgies and some dumbbells. We will perform 10 exercises in a row for 45 seconds each, followed by a 15 second break. There will be a total of two rounds. Are you ready? Let's get started with the workout. So the first move we got here is our tall kneeling, alternating hammer curl. I want to stay nice and tall, so I don't want to be arching or rounding like so. Pretend there's a string on your head, pulling you tall, keeping your chest up, keeping your ribs down. So my abs are tight here too, like I'm doing a plank. Let that elbow drift forward a little bit as we curl. 45 seconds. How are we feeling today? You ready for a little arm pump? A little abs and the calves. Basically the beach body workout. Last one. Good work, good work. All right, grab your wedgies here. Or if you don't have wedgies, go normal without them, but you will miss out on that range of motion. Nice big calf stretch here. So I like to go arms out in front if I'm not using weights. If you're going weighted, just grab the dumbbells you just used, roll on up nice and slow, roll on down. So these squat wedges are the new foam ones. They're 3.7 inches tall. So you get a huge stretch in that calf muscle. If this is your first time ever doing this with a toe elevation, by all means, do not use a weight. Just go body weight. Your calves will be on fire. Almost there, team. Keep working. Three, two, last one here. Beautiful. All right, we're going to push-ups next. Remember, top right-hand corner. That's where the exercise is. Three, two, here we go. Push it back. Rock forward. Give me a push-up. Remember, we're here for 45 seconds, so if you want to start on your knees, that's perfectly fine. Or challenge yourself. Just make sure you're getting that full range of motion. I don't want to see any of that, right? I want full range, chest to the ground. Reach long at the top. Push it away. We just worked the calves. Now you can stretch the calves out a little bit. Get a push up in. Like inhale here and then exhale as I drive out. Three seconds, here we go. Last one. All right, so grab your lighter weights. We are bent over delt flies or bent over reverse flies, bunch of names. Be working the back side of the shoulders and our mid traps, the middle of our back muscles there. Arms are straight, going out like that. Light weights here. You don't need much. I'm only using fives because we're doing high reps. You could probably get away with a wine bottle or some, some kombucha. Just don't drink the kombucha after. It might be a little explosive. Nice work, nice work. 10 seconds, team. Let's go. Come on, you got this. Easy work, easy work here. Three, two, last one. One. All right, now we got our toes out. We're back to the calf raises again. I'm gonna go no weight this time, especially toes out. Go from the side too so you can see this perspective. So I'm here. Heels are pretty much touching, reaching my arms out. Soft knees. The calves, they don't get enough love. When I first started training people 10 years ago, I can't believe it's been 10 years. I did not do enough direct calf work. Strong calves help knee pain, back pain, make your running easier. Here we go, 15 seconds. If you start to slip a little bit, climb back up. Woo! 
where you're on this steep incline, you gotta lean forward. That's why you get that nice big stretch. Three seconds, team. Let's go. Three, two, one. Beautiful. All right, we're back to the shoulders again. Put the wedgies aside. Grab your light weights. We got thumbs up this time, tall kneeling. So we're here from the side, right? Going out in front. Back down. Again, my abs are tight, right? I'm not arching the weight up. Keep that chest up, my ribs down. Reach out nice and long. You can go as, as high as you want. Go right here if you need to. If you get pain though, don't go that high. Just go right here then. Make the exercise fit your needs. As you get higher, it gets harder and harder to maintain that rib down position, which means our abs are working. This is not just shoulders. Working our core too. Let's go team, I know the arms are burning. Almost there, come on, five seconds, let's go. You got it, you got it. Great work. All right, we're on our back now. Grab those heavier weights. Or if your arms are burning, stick with the lighter weights. We got our skull crushers. Alternating. One at a time. Remember that elbow bends. That's what works the tricep the most, bending that elbow fully. Don't just stop here, right? All the way. If you want more abs here, you can always lift the feet up. We've done this in previous videos. It's a little more advanced exercise here. Reach along with the opposite arm. Great work, great work. Don't give up on me now. You got this, let's work. Stronger than you think, just keep up with me. We're in this together, let's go team. Come on, last one. Awesome job. All right, we got a bent over preacher curl. Brand new exercise. So we're here, deadlift position, butt back, elbows, kind of resting on our knees. And then curl up. Woo, with the biceps. Gonna be juicy after this. It's okay if your back rounds a little bit, it's not the end of the world. I'm not using the heaviest of weights here. Come on team, 20 seconds. We got this. Stay with me. Squeeze those dumbbells, come on. Under five. Give me two more. One. Woo hoo hoo. All right, we got abs and arms coming up right here with the plank skull crusher. So start out on your knees first, all right? And then if that's too easy, go up to take the knees off the ground. Can't talk right now, out of breath. Here we go, so level one, right? Level two. You gotta kick the wedgie out of the way. Have it up. Back up. Come on team, 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Five seconds left, what do you got left? Come on, stay with me, stay with me. Give me one more. Beautiful. Abs, abs, abs. Last move here. And lift off. Back and forth. Back and forth those exhales. And my last move, last move of the first round. We're doing two rounds. Come on, we all got 20 minutes, right? 
the abs are kicking. Back and forth, five seconds. And time. All right, 15 seconds, team, let's go. Back to the top. 15 second breaks, that's all you get. The reason why is because, you know, these moves aren't that cardio demanding. All right, you ready? Here we go. And we're alternating the exercises so that when we're doing our calves or our shoulders, the biceps and triceps recover. Or when we do our abs, the other muscle groups recover. If you program your exercises correctly, you can get a lot done in a short amount of time. In just 20 minutes, you're getting 20 sets in. Back and forth, here we go, 10 seconds. Stay tall. Squeeze those dumbbells. Last three, here we go. Bonus. Woo, all right, calf raises. Grab your wedgies. Here we go, walk on up. The higher you walk up, the greater the stretch. Soft knees, try to get a little pause there. Feel the movement. If you have a chair or something, you're not using any weight, by all means, hold on to that chair, a wall. Call over your partner, one of your friends. Hold on to them. All right, under 20 seconds, team. Woo, the calves are starting to burn. How you doing over there? Push through it, push through it. Come on. Five seconds. Four, three, two, bonus. I love the bonus. Bonus, all right, push-ups. Got push-ups next. And if you get some wrist discomfort from the push-ups, you can always go on the wedges. All right, the clock has started. You get going. I'm gonna set up here. Here we go. Push back. Just like we elevate your heels in a squat, you can elevate the wrists as well. Take a little pressure off the wrist, add a little bit more on the shoulders and the chest. This is one of my favorite moves here. Let's go team, come on. Let's work, let's work. All right, here we go, under five. How many got, how many got? All right. Good work, good work. Flies, we got flies. Here we go, bent over. Bent over, reach long, reach wall to wall. So I'm reaching to you, and I'm reaching the wall behind me. That's what I'm thinking about. Sweeping the floor, kind of squeezing those shoulder blades a little bit together at the top. Right here, I get a little squeeze. Great work. 15 seconds, come on. You got more in you. Keep pushing, keep pushing, you got this. Let's go team, come on, three seconds. Three, two, bonus, one. You know, every bonus adds up. All right, back to our calf raises. Toes out. It's important to hit the calves from different angles. Here we go, like a ballerina. Hands in front. Roll it up, roll it down. Don't be surprised if you're sore tomorrow in your calves. It's perfectly fine. Good work, good work. 20 seconds left. Nice and controlled, slowly down. Back up. Whew. 
Three seconds, team. Where you at? Woo! Those calves, they hit. All right, we got our shoulder raises. Here we go, nice and tall. That's where I'm at. I'm not straight ahead like so. I'm a little bit off to the side. Yeah, not just shoulders, it's abs too. I want more abs. Take it up overhead a little bit more. But if you feel pain, don't go this high, right? You're right here. Let me take it up now, I'm up here. Stay tall, strain the head. Let's go, let's go, come on, 10 seconds. My arms are burning, I'm sure yours are. We're gonna push through it though, we got this. Last one, ooh. All right, back on the ground for some triceps. 15 seconds, you gotta be like NASCAR here. The pick through's gotta be ready to switch. Let's go team. Oh, I almost did the old school one, two at a time. Nothing wrong with the two at a time either. It's just a little novel move here. Drive a little more abs by reaching one arm, bending the other. Remember, if you want more abs, boom. There we go. Reaching to the sky. Bending that elbow. Nice and controlled. For me, my triceps, they get sore fast. So these 20s, 45 seconds, it's getting the work done. You could do this on a bench too. Last one. Woo. All right, let's get those preacher curls in bent over. So for this one, for some reason, you do start to feel it in your back. Just do uh, traditional bicep curls, right? So, if it doesn't hurt though, get in there. This is kind of similar to the skull crushers we just did. Just so add some novelty, mixes up that routine. And it still works. The weights are getting heavy. Under 15 seconds. So I'm on camera. I can't quit. Let's go, team. Come on. Let's work. You got this. Pump them out. Pump them out. Squeeze those dumbbells. Get it up. Get it up. Last one. Whew. Baby. All right. We got the skull crushers now. Push the dumbbells out of the way. Two moves left. Sad to see you go. Here we go. You got knees. Remember, if you lean forward more, the elbow bends more. That's more triceps. You want more abs. Walk the hands forward. That's gonna be more abs now. If you want more everything, lean forward. Oh, that's harder. But for you, find a happy medium. It's about the technique. You're gonna get it right and then make it harder. Your triceps are killing you. Pause for a little bit up here. Pause down here for a little bit. And then we jump back in. We're under 15 seconds, team. What do you got? Two moves left. If you're going to the pool or beach after this, you gotta get the arms looking nice. Last one. Or maybe you're just going right back upstairs. Regardless, I want full effort. Fall in love with the effort. That's the most important thing. Here we go, last move of the day. It's all about the effort. You put in high effort, the outcomes will take care of themselves. Back and forth team, let's go. Exhale, every rep. It's the last move. Come on, what do you got? Let's push through it. I know it hurts. I know it's uncomfortable, but we're in this together. We can push. 15 seconds, come on. Back and forth. One elbow to the next, boom. There it is. Come on, last one, three, 
two, one. Woo. Awesome, awesome job. Grab a sip of water. That was nonstop action. 20 minutes straight. So drink some water, we're gonna do a cool down. If you gotta go, if you just did this before work, have a great day at work. If you just got off work, you just finished, so let's cool it down a little bit. My favorite downward dog. When it comes to the cool down, stay here as long as you like. I just like to be here for a minute. Stretch out those calves, push the floor away. Get some nice inhales into the upper back. Long, slow exhales. I found that this position and the breathing has probably improved my mobility and flexibility the most. Just getting inverted does wonders. All right. Exhale. Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining me in today's workout. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please share it with a friend and don't forget, hit the like button. Leave me some advice below. Let me know, do you like the 10 minute videos, 15 minutes or 20 minutes? And of course, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date for more exercise and tips on how to train against gravity.